Hello everyone, my name is Patricia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my non-Scentsy Wax empties for the month. These include things like candles, retail, and vendor wax. And even though I wore mostly Scentsy, I, I do get through a fair amount of other things. So what I'm going to do is I've got my bin and let's get into it. So I will just kind of separate things here. I try to keep things organized, but you know how it goes. So I always start with the candles, so we'll go through that. And I got through uh, seven, I think, seven candles this month. So let's start with Bath and Body Works. Let's do Waffle Cone. So this candle, it is a combination of, I believe it's like berries, uh, waffle, and like vanilla. And I've never had this candle before. The scent appeal for me was probably like a medium. It didn't, you know, wow me to the point where I went and bought a whole bunch. But the good news about this candle, it, it was a terrific burn. Terrific burn. If all Bath & Body Works candles were like this, I'd be a happy gal. Anyway, great burn. Medium scent appeal for me, so probably not a repurchase, but I'm glad I tried it. And I'm glad it didn't give me any trouble. On the flip side, this candle, the Perfect Autumn, it was far from perfect because it did give me a lot of trouble with the burn. Oh, and definitely smoky smell. Now I find, okay, so the notes in this I think are like cranberry, pumpkin, apple, and clove, I think. Um, I find everything mixes together. It is a really, really nice scent, but as soon as I lit it, it almost um, reminded me of when it didn't smell like kerosene, but it almost had like a smoky smell, almost right from the get-go. And uh, yeah, there's no smoky smell in the scent notes, but um, now it smells very just unpleasant. Um, I had to cotton ball it many, many times from the halfway point down, like many, many, many times. So even though I liked the scent, I would say, you know, it was fairly good scent appeal for me. Um, I did not like the performance of the candle. I probably would not repurchase. You know, it wasn't perfect for me, but a lot of people do like that one. Okay, let's do DW right. Home. So this candle um, is, what kind of, what ounces is it? 9.4 ounce candle. It's, it's in the scent Apple Honey Butter. I'll read you the scent notes. They're on the, the lid, which I love. Brown sugar glazed apples blended with warm cinnamon, golden clove and nutmeg wrapped in a sweet caramel honey and hints of pure maple syrup. So the good news is I didn't get a lot of maple because I don't really like maple. Um, <clears throat> I think that this candle was sadly a disappointment. So it's a two wick. It really needs to be a three wick. It suffered the whole way. It, it would tunnel on the sides. It would have trouble pulling out. I would have to tinfoil it <clears throat> to get a solid wax pool. Um, I don't even think I ever trimmed the wicks. It just, it reminded me of a Bath and Body Works candle, to be honest, except for it has two wicks. And I just, um, there's still probably more burn left, but it smells, it doesn't smell like that perfect autumn. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm choking on my own saliva. <laughs> um, it doesn't smell like that, but it's just the struggle was so terrible that it says blessed, but it really should say less, because <laughs> it's less, less performance. Okay. I'm going to save the, these last two candles to the end, because they're my favorite. So let's do the two Yankee candles I got through. The first one I got through was the medium jar in sugar and spice. I picked this one up at Winners in Canada. And I wrote the scent notes down. It's basically cinnamon. It also has like clove and nutmeg. Uh, vanilla sugar crystals. It's got some butter in there. It almost reminds me, it says sugar and spice, but to me there's not a lot of sugar in there. It's like a dessert that's missing a little bit of sugar. That's what it reminds me of. You can definitely smell, in my opinion, you can definitely smell clove. And I swear I can smell like brown butter. So it's like a sugary scent with a, like, almost like not a real sweet sugar, like a raw sugar, not very much of it. 
cinnamon and clove, nutmeg, butter. It was all right. It would not be a repurchase for me, but you know, look at the no problems at all. Perfect. Perfect burn. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the second one I went through, and this one I picked up at Winners as well, and you can see the label. I don't know if you can tell that, but the labels aren't crooked, and I think that's why uh, it went to Winners. Um, this is pumpkin buttercream in the large jar. So I, I, sometimes I burn those together um, in opposite areas of my big open space. Um, and, and I must say this, the strength and throw on the last one, sugar and spice, it really kicked up in the last bottom third. I would say I could definitely smell it. Same with this one. I would say the bottom third, definitely strong. And you can kind of see there's like a dry area, but all that other area is very, and, and you can almost move the candle. Oh yeah, you can, comes right out. Anyway, there's still a lot of oil on the bottom. So that'll be easy to get out. Um, the scent notes on pumpkin buttercream are pumpkin, vanilla, cinnamon, clove, and it has a cedar wood base. Again, not very sweet, um, almost like a dry, you know how like wine has like a dry, white wine has like a dryness to it, uh, th some of them. This reminds me of like a, a dry, I think they forgot the sugar as well. Maybe I just like sweeter things. But yeah, this was okay. I'm, I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, these two were my favorite. So on the flip side, this is a DW Home Candle and it is in the scent Pumpkin Patch and it is 8.45 ounces. It's a one wick, it's kind of grungy down there now. I think I sloshed it when I moved it at the last minute. This wick was really, really, really thick and you had to keep it short. But man, this thing pulled out no problem. It was very pretty burning. Um, it looked really nice just sitting there and I loved, loved, loved the scent Pumpkin Patch. I tried to look it up and see to see what the notes were. I couldn't find anything but Pumpkin Patch. If I saw that one again and the wicks didn't look puny like in the other candle, I would pick it up. So definitely a good job on that one. And great strength and like it was strong for like a little candle. You know, I was impressed. Okay, now this one, the strength and throw was not super, super strong. And it actually came with a cork uh, lid, and I forgot it downstairs. Um, but I absolutely love the scent of this candle. So it's Sand and Fog Chai. Okay, so when I first smelled it in the store, I was like, $9.99 for that little candle? And I'm in Canada, so I'm like, I'm not buying it. I'm being cheap. And then I just kept going back, and it was still there, so I picked it up. And, and the lid was really neat. I wish I would have brought it up. It was like a cork lid. Um, but um, kind of a light to medium candle but just so pleasant I love it love it love it I can't find any scent notes but basically like nice chai spices this one is a nine ounce candle and I've already repurchased it I think in a two or a three wick um, bigger candle so yeah I really really like that one okay let's move on to Walmart wax I think all my well before we do that let's do these things here Okay, this is a lathering sugar scrub from an area in Nova Scotia. And I just wanted to talk about it, not because, you know, I expect anyone to go buy it, but I just want to say, if you have, and this stuff, this was in the scent Gummy Bears. It's it's made by uh, Sugar Bubbles Bath Bakery. I think it's in Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia, which is a very tourist area in the summer. And this, I think it cost a lot of money, but someone gave it to me, so. But this was phenomenal and I pur purchased a sugar scrub from Mandela Melt. So what I wanted to say is if you have not tried sugar scrubs, I suggest you give them a try. I have terribly dry hands so um, if I remember to use it, it really really helps. You can put on your elbows, your knees, your feet, anywhere really. But um, yeah, I would suggest if you're in Canada, um, maybe try Mandela Melt. If you're in the US, I think like the Bathing Garden, Zape, like a bunch of different places have sugar scrubs. So I would suggest trying one and see what you think. So I went through an autumn wreath tart. That was not memorable, so I don't think it was very good. <laughs> um, I'm burning a large jar in sweet nothing, so I, I put a votive alongside, and I could definitely smell this little guy. Amazing. Uh, this one was, these two were apple cider votives, and these did fairly well as well. And I got these, uh, these were at my killer deal place. They're $1.19, but they're additional 40% off that. So can't really go wrong. 
So now we're going to do Walmart wax. Okay, magic spell. This is a dupe for Victoria's Secrets. Uh, oh my gosh, why can't I remember? Anyway, I'm sure you, you know, but um, Lucky and Love is the Scentsy version. Why can't I remember the name? Anyway, I'll put it down below if I remember. This is not my favorite scent, but I definitely wanted to try it. And this was a great um, performance, like fairly strong, fairly long lasting. So if you like that Victoria's Secrets, whatever it's called, pick that up. <laughs> okay, this is Pumpkin Spice by Sensationals. I had this going along with my pumpkin buttercream and my sugar and spice. And this was a very nice compliment to those. It's like a bakery pumpkin scent, not, not too much spice. Yeah, it, it is a very good compliment to those two um, Yankee candles I burned. Uh, Egyptian cotton. This one is growing on me. It's like a perfumey. I like it more and more the, the more I warm it. So um, I, I think I have one more and then um, maybe I'll repurchase. But it's like a almost like a cashmere type scent. Um, a little bit of soft perfumey scent. It's very nice. This one I really detest, um, and if you like this, I'm sorry, but this is Sensational's Rock Candy. My kids picked this out. Oh, I don't know. There's something in there I do not like. Yeah, don't like it. Sorry. Um, I'm glad it's gone. I hope they never want to buy it again. <laughs> I usually, if we're in Walmart and they want to pick something out, I let them pick, pick it out. Um, this one was really, really nice. I would probably repurchase this. This is Molten Orange. Um, very, very beautiful packaging. Yeah, it does have a tiniest bit of like that citronella vibe going on. That's the only thing I don't like. Molten orange. Um, yeah, now I want to point out, a lot of people forget, like say if you're comparing Scentsy to Sensationals, there's six cubes in this and eight cubes in Scentsy. So if you'll use three cubes here, you would have to use four cubes of a Scentsy bar to give an equal comparison. So some people chuck the cubes in and they don't realize that these are actually bigger. So yeah, maybe you're not getting as many melts. I don't know, but something to consider. Now, the next one is, um, it says made in the USA and there's a story behind this one, Nutty Butter Cookie Bars. So I sent my husband, he went down uh, to the US a few months ago. I sent him with a list. There was probably like 10 things on the list. I checked with Ramona, I said, are all these current? And we kind of, she kind of said, well, some of them, no. So I, I narrowed it down to what was current. And he picked up two items off of like my list of 10. But he picked up, I think, three of these and three of the jumbo pack of the orange buttercream, I believe it was. Anyway, so I put this in. The first time I put it in, I put it in and he fell asleep up in our bonus room. And he woke up and he messaged me. He's too lazy to come down and ask. So he messaged me and said, are you baking something? I love it. Whatever you is, what um, what is it? I said I'm not baking anything, and he's like, well, what's that smell? I said it's the wax melts I just put about two feet away from your head. <laughs> he's like, oh, <laughs> okay. Second time, I um, always let my daughter pick. Um, like I usually get a lineup of scents, so I think I had six Walmart waxes because um, I usually try to put Walmart wax in her room every once in a while, considering they're the ones that pick it out. Um, so I had a lineup of like six and she smelled the first two and I can always tell by her face and then she get to this one and she just said this one. And I said, well, what about the other three? You haven't smelled the other three. I want this one. <laughs> she loves this scent. So um, the last two cubes I've got, you know, going in her room next. So I just put them aside so I can change the wax. But yeah, this is very, it's like a milk chocolate with like just the tiniest, tiniest hint of like Maybe not even peanut butter, but more like a nut, a peanut. Um, but anyway, really, really nice. Not super, super long lasting. I find a lot of chocolate scents. They're very intense, but maybe not really long lasting. Okay, we are on, oh, one more um, vote of I missed apple pumpkin. Sorry, Mr. Apple Pumpkin. So let's go through, um, I'm just going to organize my vendor wax, and I will be back in one moment. Sorry about that, I'm back. So I went through Gotham from Super Tarts and the scent notes on this are black raspberry vanilla, pomegranate and vanilla champagne. And this was okay, it was a pretty basic black raspberry vanilla scent. Um, the champagne note maybe wasn't my favorite but 
Um, I'm not really an, uh, you know, champagne type of gal. Anyway, I'm glad I tried it though. I got it from a D-Sash. Okay, from Kay's Creations, which is a company I really, really like. Um, I went through two, two of her tarts in Grapefruit Swirl. And it is tart grapefruit and creamy vanilla. These are good. My husband does not like grapefruit scents, so I usually put it in when it goes away. Um, it's not, sometimes I add like, if you want to bump up the grapefruit, I add like a tart grapefruit alongside, but yeah, I like those. Um, probably not enough to repurchase, but I am glad I tried it. Now this one is a sample, and I absolutely loved this. Love, loved, loved this. It's called Pumpkin Crunch Cake. The scent notes on this are creamy pumpkin pie filling, eagle bran milk, yellow cake, melted butter, pecans, and hints of spice. So good. Pumpkin Crunch Cake. Mm, I think she's having a surgery right now and she's closed, but check back and see if she ever brings us back pumpkin crunch cake. I would suggest giving it a try. So I'm trying to get through my Vintage Cheek Scent samplers and I only worn two samplers out of four weeks. Like I've been trying to do one a week. So I'm, I think one week I worked and the other one I was away. So let's go over the ones that I did go through. The Warren's Visit Cookie Monster. And basically there's a million scent notes, sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, sugar milk, gooey marshmallow, glazed cinnamon donuts, and cider lane. This was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I liked it. There wasn't a lot to say. Pretty good strength and throw, all that good stuff. The next one is the Spindler Curse. And this one's cinnamon glazed snickerdoodle donut, marshmallow, birthday cake, and vanilla bean Noel. Yeah, I mean, this one was fine too. It wasn't a standout. Um, I find a lot of her scents have a similar undertone to them. So far, I've been noticing that, but a lot of bakery scents too, I find. So you gotta kind of like bakery. Um, maybe just the ones I happen to receive. Okay, we'll do Canada. So if you are um, not interested in the Canadian, you can click on out and thanks for watching. But if so, I uh, got a through a few things. This one I do not really like, but I'll just tell you I got through the lily pad in strawberry jam. There's not much to say about it. It wasn't that strong. Uh, the next one, this was also a Nova Scotian company called Fundy Treasures in Welcome Home. This one was strong. It's basically like a cinnamon bun, vanilla glazed um, frosting type of scent. Kind of heavy on the cinnamon, but it's a bakery cinnamon, so if you like bakery cinnamon, nice strong with the vanilla and a little bit of dough, um, this is a good one. But the only problem was 100% soy wax, extremely hard to deal with, so that was a bit of a bummer. I got that at a trade show, but but she does sell uh, in, a, in around my province, I believe, different areas. Um, Mandela Melts, I warmed, basically, this is called... This is, Oh my gosh, I can't even see it. Zapdor? I can't read it, sorry. It's lemon lime soda and coconut cream pie. This was really good. I love I love lime. You don't really get the coconut cream pie so much. It just gives it a creaminess to the lemon lime soda. It lasted a long time. I really like that one. Okay, from Tallulah and Poe, let's I, I used the butterfly kisses, which is Love Spell. Oh, that's that's what it's called. Love spell, love spell. Um, Love Spell, Victoria's Secret type, and Cotton Candy. Again, I'm not really big into Love Spell scents, so it was all right. This was um, a big, huge heart in Choco Orange Dreamsicle. This was really, really nice. Really, really nice. I really like this one. Very chocolatey. You can pick up a little bit of the orange. Oh, my gosh. You have to like chocolate scents though, but if you do, and she offers that one again, I would suggest picking it up. Now this one I'm just warming now. It's phasing down, which is sad, but I really, really liked it. It was a little sample in Sugar Sugar. Now Sugar Sugar says sugar cookies, cinnamon, clove, vanilla, and vanilla bean Noel. This, these, these notes are super small and I have a hard time reading them. Um, when I first put this in, I really didn't think anything of it. It was just all right. Then I had to go away for a week. I turned my warmer off. And then when I got home, I, I said, oh, I forget what's in here. I turned it back on. I was like, oh, my gosh. 
Um, I didn't have it going very long, so it still had a lot of scent left. And this this did really, really well. She just had a like restock, and this is all sold out. So I'm sure other people really liked it too. And I actually missed out on the restock because I was on a plane. So anyway. Okay, from Make Sense Candles, which is located out of Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. She is offering free shipping until the end of October. So if I get this up and it's still the end of October by the time I get up, I would jump on this because it's a really great company taken over by the daughter. A lots of changes, good changes I think, um, but great quality melts. So let's go over. This one is baked pumpkin apple pie. This was from when the mom was in charge, I believe. Um, I don't have the scent notes, but it's basically apple and pumpkin. It was all right. It would not be a repurchase, but I am I'm not displeased or anything with it. It was just pretty good. Um, Twinkle Toes was a sample. It was grapefruit, orange, lemon, and lime. It reminded me of Scentsy's white grapefruit. It was pretty good. I think I'm getting a little burnt out on grapefruit. But yes, I'm glad I had that sample to try. Now the next two are really, really great. Um, this was a sample in Butter Brickle Latte, which is vanilla, butter, toffee, almond, and steaming espresso. I have this going downstairs right now. What I like to do is put coffee, vendor wax coffee scents on, on the mornings I work. And I usually get two or three mornings out of them, like maybe like three, three, three hours at a time. So I would get maybe almost 10 hours out of this. It was like a little coffee cup, very nicely done. And last but not least for the month, yep, this is the last one. It's got a hole in the bottom, and I'll explain in a second. But this is Snickerdoodle Latte, which is coffee and vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, and buttery hazelnuts. This is really good. She has terrific coffee scents. So what happens, obviously, she's going to be getting rid of these bags. Once they're gone, um, she's going to get rid of them. She just ties them, but sometimes I... Don't trust that I'm not losing the scent, so I put them inside a glass jar, and when I put put it inside, I busted the bag. But the glass jar has like a, you know, vacuum seal lid type thing, so. Anyway, so thanks for spending the last 23 minutes with me. Coming up, I will be filming my Scentsy Wax empties, and also coming up, I'm going to do a special video about how hot do your warmers get. So I have a, um, I think it's called an infrared thermometer, and my husband had it, and I'm basically going to, Check all the warmers in my home, see how hot they get, including the ones I melt vendor wax in. So as always, I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.